most gamers have likely upgraded to a solid state drive by now but in case you're still using an as the ad i as the fuck Part of the beauty of PC gaming is enjoying the best graphics the company has to offer. But when you're suffering from a low frame rate, start to enjoy the game. Hello guys, it's Daniel once again and today I'm going to teach you how to fix low game FPS in any Windows. Let's get right into it. Today we'll be going through the fundamental fix and the advanced method first. The fundamental fix are those normal fix we see online every day. I've seen them like a couple of times, a million times now. And we're going to first of all go through that because it actually works. So the first thing is updating your graphics card. Drivers are special pieces of software that handles the interface between your software and hardware. Normal PC users don't often need to worry about updating them. For running out of date, drivers can hamper gaming performance. So to do this, I'm using an AMD graphics card. Just right click AMD Radeon settings, go to update, then check for update. And if there is any update there, please make sure you do it. Likewise, if you're using an NVIDIA graphics card, just go to the NVIDIA driver page and check to know if there is any driver updates available. So the number two method is closing any unnecessary background program. Because when you're playing again, especially demanding modern titles, it is a good idea to lose other processes that you don't need, as this will free up resources that your computer can dedicate to the game. So the normal way to do this is to go to your tax manager and close any program you don't need. But I'll be introducing an app to us that will close everything for you automatically. Get boost. Get boost here. Yeah link in the description below to download it just go and customize click on all those programs you don't need it will help you close them services you don't need non windows services others and when you're done just click on boost here i would not be doing this because it will close my recording software so <laughs> don't let us go there so going to the number three step is the fragmenting your hard drive most gamers have likely upgraded to a solid state drive by now. If you use a solid state drive, please do not fragment, as doing so can shorten the life of your drive. So, to do this, just go to your star menu and search for the frag to bring it out. This is my local drive. So, just analyze and optimize. Going to number four now is adjusting your power option. The power option in Windows lets you change settings related to energy consumption with your machines. To do this, just right click on your battery icon here, go to power options, then I'm using ultimate performance, just change yours to high performance or something. There's nothing special about the ultimate performance, I renamed it, it is also an high performance power plant. Just go to change power settings here, change advanced power settings, then change everything you see here to maximum performance this is my ATI graphics power settings yours will be an nvidia if you're using an nvidia graphics card so change everything to maximum performance your processor power management change it to change your maximum to 100 your system cooling to active your minimum processor state to 100 percent and we're through with that going to number five is turning off Windows visual effects and by default Windows uses a lot of fancy visual effects around the US so in order to do this go to your search menu and type performance adjust the appearance and yes so at default it will be let Windows choose what's best for your computer why would Windows choose what's best for my computer I know what's best so just go to adjust for best performance click on apply Okay, so our next step is to disable the game bar and background recording because Windows 10 includes the game bar features that allow you to record game clips, take screenshots, and even stream your gameplay. While it's handy in certain situations, it can also negatively impact the performance. So, to do this, go into your settings, mm, gaming, 
again, but as you can see, I already turned it off. But at the fault, yours will be on. So just turn it off, turn everything off. Then go to game mode, turn this off too. And that is all for that. Now we are through with the fundamental fix. Let's get right into the advanced method. Why I got this, the advanced method is because with this method, you get a 10 to 15 boost FPS in any game whatsoever. So without wasting much time, number one is to deploy to your Windows 10. At default, Windows 10 comes with lots of loads of crafts and features that is quite useless. I stumbled upon a script on GitHub which will help you to deploy your Windows 10. I'll leave a link in the description to download and do this as well if you want to. So to do this, just extract this file. Okay, extract. You'll be using your PowerShell. So just run with PowerShell. This this file. Sorry, I was too fast there. This file. GUI upload. So with this script, you can customize blacklist. You can remove all bloatware. You can remove bloatware with customized blacklist. Customized blacklist is useful if you intend to leave a default program whereby you don't want to remove all your bloatware. But I have already done this before, so I won't be doing it again. But if you're new to this, just go on to remove all bloatware and it will disable and uninstall all the default crafts that comes with Windows 10. As you can see, my start menu is as clean as possible. And this will increase your FPS. Now the second method is changing some values in registry editor. I recorded my gameplay with the default values and I was getting the 48 FPS in GTA 5 highest settings. And I went to change. And after that, I changed some value in registry editor. And I got a stable 60 FPS, guys. Stable 60. It wasn't going down, it wasn't going up. It was just stable at 60 FPS. Now, to do this, just go to your search menu and search for registry editor. Another way is to use your window button and R and type in reg edit. Still the same thing. So from there, go to current user, your system, game config store. Now go to game DVR enable. Change this value to zero. Hexadecimal. Same thing applies here. Change this value to two. Hexadecimal. Now go back. Go to local machine. Go to software. Look for Microsoft policy management. Policy management. Your policy manager, rather. Sorry. Then go to default application management. Allow game DVR. There, go to this value. At default, it will be one. Change it to zero. Hexadecimal. Yes, and go on and restart your system. Now, for the final step, is change your game's graphic settings. You can turn off individual fancy effects such as reflections and fog. Why this can make your game look pretty, they put a strain on your GPU. And to improve the frame rate, you should disable these options. To do this, just go to into any game settings, change the resolution, change the texture, make sure it is at low or lowest if you like. Just reduce everything to the lowest. And for this, I have an app here too. It's called Low Specs Experience. It is an app that will reduce your texture, will reduce your resolution. I'll put a link down in the description below to download it too. So it's, it's very simple and straightforward. Just open it. Go to, this is about the app. It's a free to design and blah, 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 blah. Go to optimization catalog here. Look for your game, it has tons and loads of games. 
look for the one you want that is giving you the low fps okay just go to load the optimization package then look for the folder in which you installed the game that will be all i hope with all this i've been able to help you guys don't forget to click on the like button if this video has really helped you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as this really helps me please and please comment let me know what you feel about this video let me know if this video has really helped you so till next time peace out guys